Hey everybody, today I'm Henry Satus. I'm going to show you how to make Turkish style chicken kebab. This is also known as tavuk shish. Let's get straight into it. So for this particular recipe, I'll be using chicken breasts, but you can use chicken thigh if you prefer. So the first thing we want to do is clean it up, make sure to get rid of any bones and excess fat. And you can use the tenderloins as well. So we'll set those aside and just continue cleaning up all the chicken just to make it easy to continue. So in total you should have four breast fillets for this recipe. If you want to do more, you obviously want to alter the recipe. So all we need to do at this point is dice these into little cubes about one centimeter around. Like so. So continue to do that until all your chicken is cubed. Once you're done, put your chicken straight into a bowl and set that aside and bring across one brown onion. Now you just want to slice this through the middle, through the middle again, and we're just going to very coarsely dice it. That goes straight into our bowl as well. Now into our bowl, we're going to add three crushed garlic cloves, one tablespoon of tomato paste, about one cup of plain yogurt, make sure it's not sweetened, about two tablespoons of lemon juice, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, about one tablespoon of salt, one teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of ground paprika just a small sprinkle of cinnamon half a teaspoon of black pepper and finally you want to add one tablespoon of Aleppo chili now that's not the easiest to find everywhere especially here in Australia so if you're unable to find it just substitute it for one teaspoon of ground chili Aleppo chilies basically come from Syria but they're also grown around the Middle East as well. They're just a touch milder than chili. Now all you want to do is just mix this up until it's nice and combined. So you basically want something that looks like this. So at this stage, we're just going to cover it and put this straight into the fridge for about two hours or overnight if you prefer and then we'll grill it. So I've just brought our chicken back out and we'll start scurrying them now and get ready to cook them. So as always, I'll do my skewers on long little skewers like this that go on an open fire. If you don't have this option available, you can put them on bamboo skewers and just place them on a grill. So as for spearing them, what we're trying to do is pull pieces of chicken that are about the same size on each skewer. This will ensure an even cooking time. So you should have something that looks like this in total. So now let's get cooking. So once your grill is up to temperature, we'll just go ahead and put the skewers straight on. And the basic idea is every 30 seconds we just need to rotate them and that will just make it cook evenly and seal it up so all the juices stay in the chicken.
So after a couple of minutes, all you want to do is check your chicken. Basically just pick it up, go for the biggest piece, in this case it's this one, and just touch it. As you can see it's nice and firm, that means it's ready to be served. So all we'll do is just set that aside and let it rest. And you just want to continue checking. And in the meantime, if you're serving a side dish such as rice or chips or salad, go ahead and serve that. And we'll put the hot skewer straight on. So in my case, I've just served it with some rice. And we'll get our skewers. At the top, push down a little bit to release it. And from the bottom, push all the way off, like so. Once again, push down to release, push all the way off from the bottom. And simple as that. How beautiful does that look? And of course, once you serve it, you can just squeeze some fresh lemon juice on top. And that's ready to go. Simple as that. I hope you like that guys, please like and subscribe, if you have any comments or suggestions leave them at the bottom and I'll see you all next time.